Hi, it's Bernie Goldbach on the 19th of June, 2011, dedicating this Sunday news round to the birth of my son, Dylan, last Tuesday. What you're actually looking about, looking at are bundles of joy, eerily realistic plastic heads on, and limbs on sale at Reborn Babies. It's a fair in Brentwood, Brentwood, Essex. And the photographs here are part of a series done by Beatrice Debut. You can adopt these babies. Strands of mohair individually rooted into their heads make them appear as lifelike as possible. Anyway, none of them actually look like Dylan. He's more lifelike. Inside the Sunday papers, I'll have a look in the Sunday Business Post, Sunday Times. Hopefully, maybe 50, 5 euro years from now, Dylan can look back at a time when Ireland had its euro, a time when Ireland had its accident and emergency uh, clinics around the country. Susan Mitchell, in a front page story of Sunday Business Post, points out, Second busiest hospital emergency department will, is going to have to force, forcibly close its doors on the A&E clinic at night. And that's uh, the emergency department at Limerick's Midwestern Regional Hospital. Also a problem in Drogheda as well. Inside the Business Post, lots of other things that correspond to Ireland's austerity measures. Tom McKirk, who writes in the editorial section, comment and analysis section of the Business Post, says, you know, Ireland needs to tell the EU that it can't survive with the bailout terms given. The economy and the workforce are shrinking now. Thousands of the best and brightest are uh, draining away in a brain drain never seen before in Ireland. The truth Edna Kenny needs to uh, express to European fellow friends is current economic circumstances are a time bomb under the whole European experiment. If you listen to Eamon Dumphy on the Sunday business show, it brings that point home to roost. Gavin Daly says, if you want to get a job in the IT sector, a place that's actually expanding in, Irish, in the Irish economy, you may have to upskill yourself on the C++ programming language. Lots of demand down by McAvee, the multinational IT security firm, but not a lot of students graduating with the skills in C++. It's a language that actually isn't being taught very much. Inside the pages of the news, from the Sunday Business Post. Brendan Howen's walking a fine line on the Croke Park experience. The Croke Park agreement is something that was heralding in or ushering in new financial austerity. Pat Lee points out, if you're looking at the details of how the Croke Park agreement secured uh, big savings that Howen's pointing out, you're actually going to see people, numbers being dropped. And that's not the same as actual savings, actual innovation. Inside the paper, more about innovative ideas concerning the retail sector. Dick O'Brien interviews several retailers, pointing out that when you're dealing with only upwards moving rent reviews, you're not dealing with something that's helpful for retailers. Therefore, it's not really helpful for the economy either. Retailers need a break, perhaps in legislation. Now, if that, if that happens, and downward rents are possible on review, it's going to hurt the bank's bottom line because all the bailout money is uh, based on a foundation that funding will be available through upward rent reviews. Sunday Times, front page, Michael Noonan, the finance minister, announced that maybe we should burn the bondholders. Sarah McInerney and Stephen O'Brien said the European Central Bank isn't very happy about that. But you know, look behind the scenes, as they do, the European Central Bank is split right down the middle. Engage with them. But if there's going to be private sector involvement in the Greek sovereign crisis, we need some of that here in Ireland as well. Here, this works. Collaboration. Sandra Connell, some unlikely partnerships are what secures small businesses a future. Pointing out examples about um, the interviewer he the interviewee here, Denise O'Callaghan, set up a company called Delicious, a gluten-free bakery. And she's sharing ingredients as a bulk purchase. Same with pack packaging, saving about 20%. We have stuff to do, games to play, places to go, people to see. Catch up on my world, twitter.com, stroke topco, or www.insideview.ie. Bye for now.